Hello, you lovely lot. I am Lutra FM. This is my TW series. I just wanted to do a quick little intro before each video now. And I just want to say thank you to everyone in the TW 2020 community who continues to watch my videos and comment and like the videos. And just generally your support means a lot. Even though I do football manager content, it doesn't seem to get as much of a response as the TW stuff. So it is much appreciated good show sorry a good episode ahead of us it should be a good episode for you all to enjoy as well and, and i'll be back after this episode i'll be back on sunday with another one so yeah just keep watching keep supporting me i, I always appreciate it. and if you haven't subscribed to me already please do it, it, it's like i said the more genuine subscribers i have here who actually watch my videos the better for me so yeah Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. Bye. Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM, back with some TW 2020 goodness with Fight Club Pro. And where you left us off last, we finished the Fight Club Pro Planet Terror show. So basically, after getting some advice off somebody on the, I think it was a YouTube comment, but yeah, got recommended to turn off match aims and things like that. So make it slightly easier. I want to make it as hard as possible. I want to make it realistic. But also I want to be able to just book how I want to book and not have to have three different match aims. If I just want all regular matches or all ladder matches, I don't want it to affect my ratings. So that's why I got rid of it. But yeah, like I said, we started this show with Blue Kane defeating Warren Banks. And that got a 40 rate. The push for Blue Kane continues. We tried out Chris Boog, who defeated Doris, and that got a 33 rating. The debuting Casey Owens defeated the debuting Mariah May, which got a 47 rating. We did an angle with Ginny and the debuting Kaylee Ray, and then they had a match that was 63 rating. And then we did an angle with the UK Hooligans, which is the tag team of the Knight Brothers, Rory and Zach Zodiac. And they they had an angle with the Hunter Brothers, and then the UK Hooligans defeated the Hunter Brothers to win the Fight Club Pro Tag Team Championship. And then finally, We'd, we did an angle with Kenny Williams and Clint Margera to set up their match, which Kenny Williams defeated Clint Margera in a hardcore match to retain the heavyweight title, which got a 57 rating. I think that would have got a high, maybe a higher rating if I had just done a normal match, but I just wanted to do something different and play to Clint's strengths, who is predominantly a deathmatch hardcore wrestler. He can do normal wrestling, though. I have seen him do normal, regular wrestling type of thing. So we can do it. But yeah, that got us 70 it got us 77 people through the doors. We got 600 viewers on WXW now and the show rating got 55. I fast forwarded it a little bit. We now got 72,154 pounds. We made 20,847. So last last month we made 20,847 from performance, 693 from ticket sales. 80, 80 pounds from broadcasting which is a bit poor but it is what it is sponsors 4459 68 pounds from merchandise and then the alliance was the other big one really where we got 22,533 it really does benefit us having ring of honor and pwg i have just offline tried to get other companies to join my alliance but they don't want to know at the moment so we will keep trying trying to expand the alliance as best as possible but yeah the main expense last month was simply just and the staff at the show cost, which is only about six grand. Marketing, which is 75 and 240. So you're looking about three, to six. You're looking about seven grand. It costs us every month, basically. Well, we've got, like I said, seven grand, but we're making 20. We made 20 grand last month, and that money keeps going up. So it means now that we can start bringing in some more higher paid wrestlers. So after this particular show, I will start looking to bring in wrestlers like Dave Mastiff, Sam David Jr. Still make it, keeping it, trying to keep it local. And also I might bring in one or two international imports because Fight Club Pro did used to have like three or four, sometimes more than that, international imports come in, and wrestle against the British guys and stuff like that. So we will look to do that if it's affordable to do so and, not, and they're not taking the mick. There was one of the UK guys and, and he wanted... 900 pounds a show and i'm just like i'm not really willing to want to pay that but maybe i might because I, I i can be stingy with the money to a point but i mean if we're making all this money we might as well just spend it if it helps us in any way one of these things i could do is maybe launch your own broadcaster i don't know how much that would cost we could do internet subscription i think that's what we'll do 
Sport Fight Club Pro Network broadcasting style. We'll just do sports, yeah, pure sports. I think that will be wrestling, wouldn't it? Mainstream. We'll just leave it as pure sports. I'll probably get that wrong, but we we'll go tiny for them two and then big for that. How much would that cost us? Can't afford this. Oh, it tells us here 4.7. Yeah, that's not happening. So we're not we're not going to uh, create our own broadcast at the moment. We just got to hope in time we'll get a deal. Another thing I'm thinking of doing soon is just starting a weekly event, even if it's not a TV show, but just like a or maybe like a fortnightly event, and then it breaks it up a little bit because it takes forever just to holiday in between each month. So it's just it just takes me a lot longer to record stuff but yeah we'll just see how it goes but anyway we've got our first show of the episode now fight club pro tv show sorry i'm reading the wrong thing fight club pro project mayhem 2 tonight so there you go yep yeah, so we'll forward to that and then we'll just wait for this now takes a while sometimes i hope we're all okay though i just finished watching the aw dynasty show really really good show top to bottom fair play to the wrestlers oh no, let me just read this Soraya Knight lifted locker room when a silly with a silly game created quickly became very popular backstage. Soraya Knight has a people person personality and currently it's currently irritated. Oh, okay, I don't know why she's irritated, but I can't bother to look into that at the moment. Automatic. Oh yeah, our deal with WXW now was expiring again, so I re-upped it for another three months. So we'll just keep with them until we get a better deal with somebody else. So let's crack on with the show now i can't remember whether i need to figure out i can't remember which order it is so i didn't i think maybe i need to do the main event first no i don't one round about i think we'll do blue cane main and then if we just do let's have a look here we can wrestle wild boar and then wild boar is furious or whatever i advise putting it okay so we need to just actually i need to protect wild boar so we'll get rid of that keep him up because i don't want him to go actually he's only just come in i want him i want him to be in a good a decent tactic a uh, decent tag team with mike bird but obviously I still want Blue Cane to win. Have I got Blue Cane to win? Yeah. Right, so that's the first match done. That's the That apparently is the main event. So let me do another match. Let me just see so I can figure out which order it is. So let's do the main event now. So we do Kenny Williams. And then we'll have him. Okay, let's just get rid of these and this. Maybe Chris the Bambi Killer. He hasn't wrestled him yet. He hasn't wrestled Damian Dunn yet. Or Dean Ormar. Dave Rain. All Black Jr. He did wrestle. He, he's wrestled Joe Henry before. Like, not the last show, the show before, I think. Michael Oku, he's already wrestled. Morgan Webster, he's already wrestled. Omari, he's already wrestled. Maybe Robbie Eckstone. Maybe Sam Gradwell. I think it's Sam Gradwell, actually. Yeah, Sam Gradwell. I'll do that. And then we'll just do 20 minutes. We'll go storytelling. Kenny, the winner. Is that heavyweight title on the line? Yeah. Right, okay. So, that's fine. We know where we stand now. So, it works from the opening match, I think, downwards because of the way it's done. Now I've changed it. I couldn't remember after the last show. Last, sorry, last episode of recorded. So that's my fault. Right, so we're going to have Ginny. Who's she not wrestled yet? Bobby Tyler, Chikara, Danny Hunter, Debbie Cattell, Jetta. I don't think she's wrestled her yet, but she actually, I think she might have. Casey Owens would probably be a good one, actually. All right, so there you go. You've got Casey Owens, as always. Ginny will be the winner. And then we'll go open match. I'm going to go steal the show. Even though I don't need to, I'm just going to put it in there. Oh, no. We'll just do it as a regular match. Oh, okay. I've still got to knock this down a bit. Fine. And then we'll do an angle because they want angles as well. So we'll do Ginny, fight AC, fight. We'll do an angle with Kenny as well while we're at it. Microphone, Sam Grab. Oh, no. Microphone. Even though they're not good on the mic at the moment or good enough, they, they hopefully will get better on the mic the more you put them on there. I mean, that's the theory, in it? In life, the more you do something, the better you get, hopefully. All right, so let's do another match. Let's do a tag team match now. Tag team view. Exclude already booked. We won't do the Hunter Brothers then. We'll do maybe the Elite. No, not the Elite Generation. Do that then. We'll do these 20 minutes. Put the tag titles on the line. UK Hooligans have only just won the titles, so we better have them win. Or else it's going to make a joke of our tag titles. We've got Wild Brawl. Okay, we just need to knock this down to 15. Knock that down there. Right, let's do an angle with them anyway. Roy Knight, sorry, not Rory. That, and then it was Robbie X, wasn't it? And uh, who's the other guy? What's the tag team again? Glory by Habit. Oh, God, I can't remember who they are. Roster. All right, let's look at Roster. Sorry about this, everyone. I've got bloody brain freeze. I bet everybody's screaming at me at the video now. Why won't he let me look at his... Oh, that's annoying. Hold on then. Just leave it as that for now. And then I'll just go back. It is... Uh, even though I say... When I said in the... When I was saying intro afternoon, when I record these videos, it's quite early in the morning because I usually do them first thing in the morning when my girlfriend heads off to work because I'm already up at that point. I'm usually my most energetic in the morning. So, yeah, that's why I do the videos now. 
but sometimes I have concentration problems because of lack of sleep due to having a little puppy that randomly wakes me up because he wants to get into my bed and I don't want him in the bed. So yeah, anyway, enough about my my lovely dog. As I said, dog, dog owners will understand the struggles that we have at times. All right, let's do another match. We'll do a women's tag team match. Let's see what we can do here. We haven't got any yet. So we'll do Alita James. I think Shakara as well. I think they'd make a good tag team. Versus Jetta, Kaylee Ray. Actually, no, I think, yeah, no, I'll leave it as that, yeah. You never know. Push that up there. So we've got Ashton Smith. Put Chris the Bambi Killer in there. Connor Mills, I think. Dean Ormar, because he hasn't wrestled for us yet, so we'll give him his debut. See how he gets on. Old Black Jr. we'll put in there, because I don't think he's wrestled for us yet. Jason Crime hasn't yet either. See, he hasn't wrestled for us yet, so we'll put him in. Mike Bird hasn't either. I think Ricky Knight Jr. has, so we'll put Robbie Sharp in there. I think that's it. Yeah, I think everybody else has made the debut, so... This will just be a showcase match where we just and we'll just go high spots. Right, and let's start the show. Oh, I've done it the wrong bloody way, and I. Oh, it is. So it's basically you got to flip in. Oh, I've done there. So this main event now is not the main. Event. I'm such an idiot. Anybody else would have just like stopped recording this now, wouldn't they? But you know, hopefully you'll find humour in my downfall. So the one, the, the match at the top of the show is not the main event, is it? It's just yeah. Oh well, we'll just do it in reverse order, and everyone. So, the heavyweight title will be defended in the opening match. I could just switch everything around, but I don't think it makes much difference in the grand scheme of things. This only got a 57. Kenny Williams not performing very well. Oh, that's why. Oh, no, our champion's injured. I hope he's not injured for ages. The great performance of Kenny Williams really stood out. So, he did put in a, a good effort, but he got injured in the process. And then there's Heat. Well done, Sam Gradwell. Okay. Actually, I will have to re re rejig all this around in a second anyway that was terrible i might get rid of sam gradwell he's just injured my champion i'm really not happy with that right so then this yeah so this needs to go up here and we do that that i'm sorry about this everyone and then that and then we'll have blue cane up here i think oh, we just need to move that that way yeah so then that's all right the rest of that should be we need to move that up there yeah the rest of that should be okay now so we do that should be blue yeah there we go that's fine Right, I'll remember for next time. Sorry, everybody, about that. But at least we had a good laugh at my expense. Blue Kane defeat Wild Ball. Got 52 rating. Oh, Wild Ball, 75 rating. Okay, that's good. We're going to start showcasing him a bit more, I think. Here you go. This is the one I'm interested in. So, who won the match? Ashton Smith. Right, okay. That's fine. So, let's see who performed well. Ashton Smith performed okay. Connor Mills performed okay. Decent enough. Jason Prime is absolutely rubbish, which is not good. So we might have to get... I might, might get rid of him, maybe. I leave Aaliyah James? Why the hell have I got Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, Aaliyah James will be in two matches in this show because I'm an idiot and don't know how to play. I swear I moved somebody across to take that. Who else performed? Mike Bird performed well. So then if we have Mike Bird and Wild Boar as a tag team, they should be a pretty good worker tag team. So they'll have decent matches. Robert Sharp is terrible, so we need to get rid of Jason Prime and Robert Sharp after the next show. After this show, sorry. Mike Bird seemed off his game, which is weird. Too long. How long was it for? Oh, it was only 17 minutes. Oh, it was a high spots match, so maybe maybe that's why it went a bit off. Because certain wrestlers aren't high spots, are they? Jason Prime. I should have just done it as a regular match. I'll remember that for next time, everyone. Don't you worry. I always learn something new every day I'm playing this game. That's the good thing about this game. Right, Mike Bird looked excellent out there. Well, that doesn't make sense. Mike Bird seemed off his game, but then he also looked excellent out there. Okay. Robert Sharp was rusty. So so that will go soon go away when he's got a few more matches. Okay, so we need to put Robert Sharp in a few more matches. The angle with the tag teams did rubbish, basically. The tag team match was pretty decent. UK Hooligans won and Damian Dunn came out with the match looking good. So Damian Dunn maybe push him as a single star more as a tag than more of a single star than more than a tag team wrestler. Sorry. Aaliyah James and Shakara defeated Jetta and Kaylee Ray. Got a sixty rating, which ain't too bad. Shakara got a sixty eight, which is surprising. I didn't think she'd be rated as good as that. Aaliyah James had another match. Double doing double duty today for no reason. Kaylee Ray got a sixty three rating and then Jetta got a seventy five, so that's good to know. There we go. Right. The angle with Ginny and Casey Owens got a forty two. Let's hope the match does well. Oh yeah, got a sixty four. It was all right. Ginny with the standout performance, but Casey Owens not too bad. Could have done with better announcing and could have commented, but we're kinda of limited if we're if we're keeping it local only. Right, so we improved, increased our popularity in nine regions. We've got an overall fifty nine rating and we've got seventy seven people in the game. So the show quality is not as good as it has been so i need to really work on that 
I think the next show I need to basically just pick, try and pick as many good matches as possible, keep them just regular matches, and then just see how we get on with that. But yeah, 59 right ain't too bad. Let's hope that Kenny Williams is not out for too long because he is an excellent worker on this game and he always pretty much, unless I put him in a stupid stipulation match, always does well in a regular normal match. He is my champion and he's been the champion now since I started, this, I think pretty much since I started this set. So I don't really want to have to then figure out who to put as a champion, but we'll see. Wait for this to take forever to load up. This is the downside about TW. Just when you're recording stuff, it just takes ages. Oh, on, hurry up. Oh, my God. 2,173. Oh, half year awards. Okay. I wonder if any of my wrestlers get them. Probably not. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. It doesn't matter if, you, doesn't matter if you've got a high performance laptop like I have. It's, it still bloody runs slow, doesn't it? Probably runs slow for other people, though, if they've got a more rubbish computer, but each to their own, innit? We, we can only afford what we can afford to have. I was just very lucky that I had the money to buy a gaming laptop. Right, here we go. Female wrestler of the year, Soraya. Independent wrestler of the year is him here, so maybe I'll look to bring him in. I can't, unfortunately. That's a shame. I'll add him to my shortlist. You never know, I might be able to bring him in one day. What's his name? Oh, Ra Rosata. Rosata, maybe. Tributes for Vince McMahon. Oh, okay. So in the game, Vince McMahon, who's, uh, I will not be bothered because he's an absolute scumbag. I mean, granted, he's created a world that I've literally known all my life, but he doesn't condone his behavior, allegedly at the moment. Let's just leave it as that, but... I think we all know what he what he's capable of from past allegations before. Billy Gunn retiring. Shame. Right, let's click on this. Robbie X. Rory Knight can't sell anything. Rory Knight. I keep calling him Rory. I'm just going to change the name to Rory in a minute. Just carries on. 600 views for there. Injured. Yeah, Sam Gradwell's going. I need to get rid of Sam Gradwell and Jason Ryan before I forget. And then I'll have a look and see how long Kenny Williams is injured for. Excellent decision. There you go. It's made Kenny Williams very happy, so that's good. I want to keep me, me top star happy at all costs. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at injuries now. Where's medical? There we go. Oh, he's only out for six days. That's fine. Mark Billington will be back in just over a month as well. Right, so I'll be back in a minute, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. Right, we're back. We've got our next show, which is called... Pulp Fiction 2. So the last Pulp Fiction show we did, Kenny Williams defeated Kid Lycos to retain the heavyweight title. So, uh, yeah, so we'll maybe look at doing that again for this one. See how it goes. Instant involving Soraya Knight. Another one where she brought in a puppy to the dressing room, which made everybody happy, which is what we like to see. Right, so let's book the best show we possibly can. So let's start with one-on-one -on -one single. Luckily, Kenny Williams is back. First things first, actually, before I do any of this, I should have done... I've made some new additions to the Aurora Star. Yeah, we'll do that because I haven't, I haven't brought any... I brought Vicky Haskins in, apparently on the game. Her and, Mar ha her and Mark Haskins are now broken up, divorced. So, uh, so anyway, so here's some of the new workers I brought in. Big T Justice. Been a fan of his for a while now. He's a good big man worker. Absolute giant of a man. I can see him in Blue Cane just tearing it up. Bram. Now, I know Bram might be a controversial one, but I feel like he is popular enough that it would help us and a decent enough worker. And I don't... I actually don't know 100% what he apparently done. I know him and Charlotte Flair didn't have a good relationship, but I don't know what else, if he's done anything else. So let me know in the comments section if any of these wrestlers I show you have got basically cancelled or just let me know if they've done anything dodgy and i will get rid of them so it's the whole i didn't bring in travis banks or al Liga, Al ligero or jack or james gallagher for the same reasons because they all got uh, done naughty disgusting things to women so allegedly or i don't know if it's allegedly or been found guilty i don't know but i just rather not risk it I bought in BT Gun, Bubblegum. I bought another big guy in, Colossus Kennedy, Cyanide, Danny Jones, Dave Mastiff. I brought in Dickie Divers, who's in a tag. T He's in a stable with a few people, and I brought in the other people as well, or are or or I'm looking to bring them in. They're not, they're not in at the moment, but they hopefully will be in soon enough. Eddie Dennis. I brought in Grado, Iestian, Rees, Jackie Polo, Jason, James Mason, James Scott, JJ Gale. Jody Fleisch, who I think is injured at the moment. I think that's what that red means. 
or does it? I don't know. Jordan Brake, Curtis Chapman, who I obviously, unfortunately, sadly has died in real life, but he's on this database, so I'll just bring him in. Lewis, Lewis Gov, Leighton Buzzard, who else? Mark Andrews, Martin Kirby, Nathan Cruz. There will be others as well. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go for a few more, but they just haven't come through yet. Paddy Morrow, Paxo, Prince Amin, who has really good aerial, well, decent aerial and psychology and flashiness. He is 41 years old though, but I'm going to give him a go, see if he, he's any good in the ring. Ravy Davey, Rick, oh no, I've already got Ricky Knight Jr. RJ Singh, Rob Lynch, who is in the tag team with Dave Rain, I think. So I, from, I remember them from, I used to watch him Red Pro on, it was on a channel. It wasn't the wrestling channel, but it was on another channel. It wasn't that long ago, it was like five or six years ago. Alex Shane was commentating, I think. Anyway, Robbie Solar, I brought him in because he looks cool as shit with his mask. So I thought the kids might gravitate towards him, bring in more money on merch for the, ma for the masks. If I was basing this on real life, that's what I would do. Sammy Smooth as well, looks like an absolute douchebag. So I thought he would get good heat. Char Samuels, Spike Trevitt. Stevie Xavier, Trent Seven, Tyson T-Bone. A lot of these I've seen live so and Worky as well. So we've got some new tag teams to create while we're at it. Well, we've got quite a few actually. So we've got FCU, which is obviously Mark Andrews and Eddie Dennis. And then we've got Just Us which is BT Gunn and Stevie Xavier. I always want loads. I always like to have loads of tag teams. So it just gives us more like ma matchups that we can do. Shakara and Kaylee Ray. The animals so we'll put them as a tag team try and build up the women's tag team division if possible the anti-fun police which is what i was talking about last episode we'll have them as a stable at some point i'll do that offline and then i'll show you afterwards the army of violence which sounds like a really cool name which is rj singh and trent seven it's a shame we can't get tyler bait or pete dunn in here because i'd love to have the british strong style stable in here we've got the faces of fear which is grado and mike bird very new tag team by the looks of it only two experience so maybe they haven't wrestled much together as a tag team or they've only just come together we've got the filthy generation which is kaylee ray and steve Ex they are uh, a couple in real life lucky steve xavier yeah kaylee ray is stunning and also i like her because she she's scottish so i'm half scottish so drew mcintyre and piper niven are by proxy my favorite wrestlers in wwe there you go right so we've got the lads from the flats which is worky and paddy Morrow. they could be like a fun little Chavy type tag team. The New Age Click. Why can't we have? At least one of them is currently not. Oh, okay. Right, I don't know. Let's go back onto the roster for a second. Search. Reset. All right, let's have a look. Chris Renfrew, manager and... So he's not able to... So right, let's see if we can get him back in the ring. That's a shame. He doesn't want to wrestle. Might as well get rid of him then, I? I'll have him as the manager of BT Gun and that. I'll do that later. All right, let's go back to tag teams. Sorry if this is a bit tedious. I know people, some people probably just want me to book the show, but let me know in the comments section if this, if you don't mind stuff like this or if you don't like it and you'd rather I just do the shows and do this type of stuff offline. Let me know. Okay, new Age Click. I oh, know we can't do that. I can't, can't do any of these because they've got Chris Renfrew in who's retired. All right, we've got these. The Ring Twins. That's another female tag team, which is good. South Pacific Power Couple. No, we won't bother them. The Wanted. And then there's one more. The winning combination, Bobby Tyler and Ginny, which is, again, another tag team, a women's tag team, which is good. Right, now I just need to see if there's any of these that are inactive. Right, so I just do active, any type, there you go. Right, so that's the tag team sorted. Now we can get on with the, the show. But actually, before we get on with the show, £89,575 in the bank. So we'll just have a quick look at the financial side of things again, if we can. I don't think we can, actually. Oh, there we are. So, yeah, so we made £20,000 again from performance. £693 from ticket sales, £8 from broadcast deal, five sorry, £4,532 from sponsors, £69 from, and then we lost about just just over, just about eight and a half, nearly nine grand last month. So overall, we're about 11 grand up in profit. Now, our costs will go up because the wrestlers I brought in, they didn't want to come in cheaply. I tried to bring in Mark Haskins, but he what, he, he kept saying he, was, he had better offers. I went up to about four grand, which is a ridiculous amount of money per show. And he still said, no, that's not good enough. So I said, and then he, the next day he signed for Dragon Gate on a written deal. So I can't bring him in. So out of spite, I brought his wife in. Sorry, according to this game, ex-wife. Not in real life though, before anybody starts worrying. Yeah, right. So let's try and book the best show we can then with what we've got. 
So uh, I think Blue Kane needs to go against Big T Justice first. I think that's the match that we do to open the show. Be 10 minutes. I've got to try and remember how to do this again. Because remember last show I did, I absolutely cocked it up like that. Right. That's that. That's kicking off the show, I think. Shikara, I think. Do a couple of, we'll have a couple of tag teams in there. Four-way tag team. It's a shame you can't do more than four tag teams on this. Right, so we've got a few new tag teams. So we'll go FCU. Who else have we got that's new in here? The one oh. No, actually, no, the 198, yeah, sorry, we'll do that, yeah. Army of Violence, maybe. Not the Dynamic Duo. Uh, no, I won't do Faces of Fear. I'll, I'll, I'll put Grado in the singles match, I think. We'll do the Lads from the Flats. And then the New Age, Clip 2. There you go. We'll just leave that there. Right, change that. Do a 10-way singles match. Just go crazy. Who should we put in there? We do female. We'll do female. Ginny. Who else is a good worker on here? Getter. Killer Kelly. Maybe Leah. Leah Owens. Casey Owens. Come on. I hate this when it doesn't do it first time. Right, Casey Evans, Hayley Lee Ray, Mariah May, Lee McKenzie, yeah, Nina Samuels, and then we'll just put Aaliyah James in there by proxy. We'll have Ginny as the winner. Here we go steal the show, sod it, why not? Oh no, wait, no, let's not do steal the show. I think we should just leave steal the show alone. I think it just, it just, it never seems to have the right effect for what I want it to do. Right, so do Ashton Smith in there. Put Graham in. Well, actually, we'll put, we'll get, we won't bother with Ashton Smith in this one. We'll give him a rest. Just try and put all the new ones in. Put Bam, Chris the Bambi Killer in there if it lets me do it. Damien Dunn. No, Danny Jones. Oh, why does it always do that? Right, Dave Mastiff. Peter, Justin Reese. Jackie Poe. I'm basically just trying to give as many new wrestlers a match as possible just to see who's good and not good. It will cost me money, but it'll be worth it because we can figure out who the best wrestlers are out of this slot then. Oh yeah, men's one. There you go. Right, 103. I don't know what happened there. Oh, sorry about that. Technical error. Right, and then we'll just do six-man singles match. We'll have Kenny in there. Back from his injury. We'll just keep it like this. Nathan Cruz. Who else? Martin Kirby, maybe? And then... And seven. All right, 20 minutes. Kenny Williams is the winner. We'll go for match. All out match. Yeah, well, Trent, you'll just have to get over it, won't you? Right, I'm hoping I've done this right. I'll be really annoyed if I haven't. So this is the opening match. We're working our way down. I might change it in the after this. I'm going to change it so it, so we start at the bottom with the opening match and then at the top at the top the main event because it's confusing the hell out of me. And my brain doesn't take much to get confused. Right, let's just quickly look at this for a second. Trent Seven is extremely happy. Uh, happy right let's protect trent so uh, hopefully that'll keep him happy that okay so he's not happy about being protected we keep strong as well i think that will fix it yep yeah, there you go so he's happy now right let's just check this paddy morrow is being used too much for this show wow tough right let's see how we get on yeah so thank god for that right it's worked how i wanted it to opening match got a 48 kane blue kane starting to uh, produce better and better matches he's got sorry i've got a really itchy nose sorry he's got a johnny kid mentoring him passing on psychology so like his performance is getting slightly better every time 21 for him big justice 58 so that's quite good blue kane was really off his game but you know decent start to the show i might put blue kane in a regular match instead of keep doing it wild brawl and see what see what happens with that it might be the reason why he's rated so low because i keep putting him in wild brawl but i just assume that's the style of match that he does, but I, I, I've never watched Blue Kane wrestle, so I wouldn't have a clue. I just know he's a internet sensation, and I've seen little clips here, and I just think it's awesome that they've managed to create a WWE wrestler and just put Blue in front of it. And I don't know how they've got away with it, but they have. He's got away. Actually, I think he's had to change his name to something else now, but anyway. Somebody let me know in the comments section about Blue Kane, please. I would like to have a bit of a history on him. But yeah, so the next match we had is Shakara defeating Danny Luna. They've got a 56 rating. Both women very close, the same performance level. Crowd the multi, the, the four-way tag team match FCU won. And stand-up former Mark Andrews. So we need to put... with Next show, I think we're going to have... The main event is going to be Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews. If Mark Andrews and Kenny Williams are available at that time, hopefully they are. Paddy Morrow is not very good. Who else performed well? Morgan Webster performed quite decent. So we could also have Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews in a tag team match, and I think that would do well as well. So that's good. Maybe have them as the tag champions, I think, moving forward. Or Eddie Dennis and Mark Andrews as the tag team champions. But yeah, Paddy Morrow is off his game. The announcing desk and the color column takes could have done better. But again, decent match. Women's match, Ginny won, got a 56 rating. Ginny got an 81 rating. Jets got a 74. Who else performed well? Kelly Ray got a 67, which ain't too bad. Millie McKenzie was okay. 
Nina Samuels was okay. Mariah May only got a 29, weirdly. Maybe the database doesn't rate her very well. Dave Mastiff won the multi-man men's match and got a 58 rating. Unfortunately, Bubble... I'm oh, sorry, Eastern Rees suffered an injury. A what? A, a scrotal... Con- oh, God, that sounds painful. Who was the stand-up performer in the ring? Branded. Branded well. Dave Mastiff got 74. Jackie Polo got 75, so that's good to know. Jackie Polo can in the ring right and then the main event which was oh do you know what i forgot to do any angles so maybe i think it might affect the show overall i should have put some angles in my bad yeah kenny williams retained his title in the six-man match got a 61 rating kenny williams got a 78 rating so he's back on for nathan crew got an 84 rating so that's another good possible matchup one-on-one matchup for, for him kid lycos got an 80 so I think maybe the next show I'll probably have Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews and I think maybe Nathan Cruz versus Kid Lycos in a match. See if they can gel. Trent Seven got an 83, so maybe him versus Dave Mastiff in the next show as well. So I'm already in my head already building up matches for the next show, which is good. Again, announcing a colour commentator is not good, but what can we do about it? Not much. But yeah, so that got a 61 rating to finish the show. We only got a 48 rating overall, which is a bit of a shame. And obviously the... We wanted more angles. We've got 85 people, though, so we've broken our attendance record, so that's good. That is good. But there's a lot of pluses there. So then next show, I can kind of, in my head, I've got three singles men's matches in my head. I probably could be able to do a women's match or two that would be relatively decent, maybe a tag team match as well. So I think the next show will be, show rating-wise, will probably be better than the recent ones we've been doing. But it's still good, though. We still had... There's still a lot of pluses to come from there. And all the, these new wrestlers that we've got, hopefully they can all start performing consistently and we can book some good single matches with them. we got like eight people more than we did in the last show. So we are doing well. Yeah. Oh, 899. So we've got more viewers as well, which is good. Our Houston Reese is injured. Let's see how long he's injured for. Medical. Oh, we've got quite a few injuries. Oh, here we go. We can oh, operate on Jody Flash, get him back up and running. So he's... He'll be back in three months and one week. Shah Samuels is out for five months. Mark Billington's out for 32 days. Iceland Reese is only out for four days. BT Gun's out for three months and three weeks with a broken neck, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a pretty good day. That show cost us a fair amount, though, because the amount of workers that we have. But we'll make it up at the end of the month. And yeah, just like I said, just keep showing your support. It's always appreciated. And like I said, I'll be back on Sunday with the next episode. And uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day.